All right, uh, welcome back. Bob Rignaris, Perry Marshall again. We are going through our top 10 predictions for 2020 and the rest of this decade. We are on number seven today, which is a optimistic one. I, I like this one. So Perry, you talked about there's gonna be double or two times the amount of innovations this decade than the previous. Yeah, so 10 years ago, there's a whole bunch of things that literally did not exist. 10 years ago, the iPad didn't exist. <laughs> Instagram didn't exist. Snapchat didn't exist. Uh, the Apple Watch didn't exist. Facebook Messenger didn't exist. There's a whole bunch of things like that. Um, and, and if you go back just a little further, you have things like, like Uber didn't exist. And, 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 and in 2010, nobody really knew who they were, even though they were, right. were up and running. So, so we are used to living in a world that has all of these things and we didn't have those things 10 years ago. It's easy to forget that we didn't have them. And 10 years from now, we're going to have twice as many things that we never had before. And I, I think it's, it's, it's easy for people to forget that even when you have really, really, really difficult problems, problems that were considered unsolvable, if you have a lot of people that are still trying to solve it anyway, Somebody is going to find a way over or under or around or through or what have you. And, uh, and so, like, if, if you go to the previous prediction about platforms catastrophically breaking, well, you know, one, one of those breakages is, is going to be a giant opportunity for one of these other companies. So imagine that. Um, some company has some completely different way of doing a search engine or some completely different way. And, and people have been looking at it and they've been going, well, yeah, that's kind of interesting. And, you know, the guy's been pitching investors left and right. And then all of a sudden Google goes down for a day and a half. Hmm. And then, and then, then the guy makes one phone call and all of a sudden he's got $50 million because everybody's like, oh yeah, well, um, yeah, if, if, if this thing was properly funded, you could switch that on, then Google would lo lose half their people overnight. And, and so you're, you're going to see dislocations like that happening. And, uh, you know, you, you can't, you can't imagine what they are, which that's pretty exciting. Yeah. I don't think sitting in 20, uh, 2009, we could predict, um, those things. We can maybe kind of foresee some of those things that were uh, available maybe in science fiction movies, uh, but actual practical mass implementation of things like the iPad and the, and the Apple Watch and things like that. You, you just, you, they just become so normal so quickly, but just to think that they're just so new is, is, is actually amazing. So yeah, I look forward to a great decade in terms of innovation. And I think there's gonna be a lot of Planet Perry members that play, that play a part in that. No question about it. No question about it. Um, because, well, um, Loan Builder, which is offered by PayPal, that was built by a Planet Perry guy. Yep. And he sold it to them for a lot of money. So yep. I'm very proud of my students for doing stuff like that. Great. Well, that's going to wrap up number seven. We're, uh, we're getting close to the halfway point. We're going to join with number six tomorrow.